Hey there, GarageBand fans. It's Dr. Scott Watson with another tutorial for using GarageBand. This uh, tutorial uh, video is going to explain how to use cycle regions uh, in GarageBand. And cycle regions are one of the most misunderstood and, and least used uh, features of uh, GarageBand. They're right on the surface of the program. It's uh, affected by clicking on the cycle region uh, tool right here next to the record button and you can see it has these recursive arrows looping around. Notice that as soon as I click on cycle region this yellow cycle region appears um, in the timeline or the ruler and you can change how many measures you'd like to cycle through or loop through and it'll keep playing those measures again and again. So for instance if I was working in this 12 bar blues but I only set it to a four measure cycle region what will happen is it'll start cycling just listen it'll start cycling after the fourth measure it'll go back to the beginning so one reason that um, here it comes ready and it right it just cycles back so one reason that people use cycle region is just to practice or to um, you know trial run experiment uh, while they're recording or while they're composing or arranging just to see how they want to do it so right now I have an organ set and I could do a little right and then it's going to go back to the beginning again right and I could just keep fooling around with that over and over again of course this is a 12 bar blues I'd probably set it to all 12 right and practice all 12 measures again and again and again so that's one reason that the cycle region is used just for playing but maybe the most um, uh, helpful way to use cycle region when you're recording is to do uh, multiple takes. So I want to show you in the GarageBand preferences uh, window right here um, the different uh, settings you can do. Like when cycle region is off and you're recording, um, you can either replace what you've recorded the first time with what you record the second time. That's what usually happens when you record. You you copy over. Um, you could also merge, meaning you could do two different um, lines. So let me demonstrate that right now. I'm going to turn the cycle region off so we don't have it in the, uh, in the timeline. And I've left it so that it'll merge um, what I record. Um, MIDI, by the way, MIDI recording. Uh, it'll merge that um, while I um, do a, a second take. So here's my first take. Okay, we're going to... One, two, three, four. All right, I'm just going to hold this long note. Okay, so these long um, sort of gestures. Okay, so that's my first take. Now I'm going to go back and record on top of that um, and see what happens. One, two, three, four. Now I'm recording a much more active. Okay, <laughs> anyway, so what I, what I wanted to show you is that I have both lines now recorded one on top of the other it's kind of like overdub recording All right so you're hearing both lines and if i wanted to go in and edit that i double click on the region i can show you that um i have both the long right the long note but i have all the the more active notes i recorded in the second um, run through that so that would be one way to use cycle regions just to do what what is sometimes called overdub recording Okay, um, but typically what you do is when you record a second time, you want to record over. So I'm going to leave it back on replace, which would be the, the more common. Okay, the other way that's really cool to use cycle region is when the cycle region is on. So let's go ahead and turn it back on. And now we see that, that yellow um, cycle region for 12 measures that I had set right up in here in the, uh, the ruler. And I could change that, but, but I'm going to do all 12 measures. Okay, so... I'm going to create multiple takes of a solo. So for instance, let's get rid of what I just did. I'm going to click on this, drag this out of the way. Uh, I'm going to get rid of this region, delete, okay. And you're going to actually see me uh, do a first take through uh, this area. And then when it cycles back, I'm going to do a second take. And I'll even do maybe a, a third take. So you can see that there's um, three takes. And I'll be able to preserve the notes of all three takes. And then I can go back and evaluate and listen to them. All right. All right. So I have my, my count off and metronome that are, that are going here. But it's the jazz organ I'll be recording. So here we go. Cycle region is on to uh, do create takes. And I hit the record button. Two, three, four.
All right, second time through. Uh, third take. Okay, so now I've got three takes. And what's cool is I can go back to the region and, and for the first time you're going to see here that um, there's a little number in the top right of the, uh, the MIDI region and there's a menu. I can say what does the first take sound like and I choose that and I'll go back to just my first take. Right? Or I can choose number two, go back to my second take, remember I had the longer. Right? And I can go back and hear that and compare that with my third take. Here's my third take. Okay, what's even cooler is if you wanted to, um, you could say, you know what, I kind of like the first six measures of my first take, so I'm going to put a split in here. Um, I'm going to go with take one up until measure six, and then I'm going to go with take um, three. You know, things, and you can put as many splits and choose as many takes as you want. Um, and uh, so let, let's try that. We'll, we'll start with, uh, there's the first take, right? And you can see the little number one here. But then when it gets to measure six, you're going to see it switch over to take three. Right, so anyway, uh, and you can edit both, you know, you can go in and use the, um, let me close this, you can use the, the edit window to edit all of this in the first take and in the second take. Right, so um, using takes when you're doing um, recording is is, is awesome because you could take a couple tries at it. A vocalist could sing again and again and again. And that is the next thing I want to show you is that I've been doing MIDI recording, which allows me um, to do uh, these multiple takes. But you can also do that with um, audio recording. Um, what you can't do with audio recording though is that. Um, overdub recording that I showed you first where when cycle region was off and I set it to merge rather than replace. Let me go back and show you that again. Yeah, so here, um, if I would set this to merge, in audio recording, it's not going to give me that. It only works for MIDI, MIDI recording, the green regions that you see there. But let, let me show you um, creating multiple takes, right? Set the preferences to multiple takes when cycle region is on. So let me turn the cycle region on and go to an audio track that I set up. And I'm going to just do a little voice narration. Um, let's get rid of our uh, solo or organ solo. I'm just going to go back to the beginning and do a little four measure voice narration. But again, uh, that's because I'm not a vocalist. But just imagine if I was scat singing or if I was um, solo singing, if I was an epic diva and I was singing rather than just me talking. Um, imagine if I wanted to do like a couple takes of the first verse and then a couple takes of the chorus of a song, a couple takes of you know the bridge. Uh, you could do that multiple takes. Then choose your best take or choose parts of your best take and combine them to, to create a meta best take. Okay, so here is um, with the audio track set up and let me just make sure we're getting a signal. Test, test, test one, two. Yep, VU meter's popping, good. All right, so here we go, record. All right, this is take one. I could, you know, sing. Do da do da do do da, right? I could sing. Um, here's take two. Take two is not going to have any singing. It's going to be me talking very seriously so that you can hear the difference. And then take three will be dup, 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 ba do up. All right, so now I've got three takes. And again, you can use the menu here. Take one. Remember, I started talking and then I merged into some singing. All right, this is take one. I could, you know, sing. Do da do da do. All right. And then take two was only talking seriously. Take two is not going to have any singing. It's going to be me talking very seriously. All right. And then take three. I did a little little scat for you there. Dup, 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 
do do uh, all right so now I've got okay and you get the idea so um, that's the idea of using um, what GarageBand calls cycle regions um, for both practice um, and to do some overdub recording in the MIDI realm and then in both MIDI and audio doing multiple takes when you're recording well that's it I hope this tutorial video will help you be more expressive making music using what I consider to be the most powerful yet easy to use entry-level DAW GarageBand Happy creating.